Hi everybody and I welcome you to my first English spoken tutorial. Some of you have asked me to do something in English to record my videos in English and this is the first one. I hope you understand it. My English is so poor as you can hear but I will try my best to make me understand. So this video is about a style on dark table called freaky details. This is a pretty old technique I found it in the work of Kelvin in Hollywood, a German photographer, and uh, this technique was used first on Photoshop and then applied on GIMP. I will show you on the gimmick repository here. We can find it in details section and freak details. It's done by Patrick David and David Schumper. I, I cannot pronounce it. This is too much for me. But we can find it in GIMP also. This is a technique I like very much, but it's quite difficult to achieve in Photoshop. It implies the use of uh, blend modes and, and layers and uh, some weird blur techniques and etc. And in GIMP, we have the, this plugin that does a pretty good work, but it takes too much resources of our computer. Uh, for instance, uh, with this image that it's it's quite that is quite big 370 megas is enormous it took between three and five minutes to process all the uh, all the image with this uh, with this style and well the results are quite good but it takes too long so i thought about uh, achieving the same result in dark table and it does an amazing job on this so we're going to leave gimp and here we are in dark table again this is the final result of the image as you can see the the freaky details technique is focused on getting as much detail as we can from an um, image and this is the details on this take a look at the skin the hair this is the original image is blurry without details without contrast and with only two steps we get this result well how can we do it first of all we reset the image here compress and we get the original image and we go to equalizer plugin as you know the equalizer plugin works with frequencies of the of the pictures in the left side we have the fine details corresponding with the skin details on this girl maybe the, some hair areas and on the right side we have the coarse details corresponding with with shadows some parts of the dress and so on so the thing we are going to do is to take only the medium frequencies here these four nodes we adjust the area with the wheel of the mouse until we get the four central nodes and we simply lift up the nodes right this and we get this detail here is the before after before after you can see we get more contrast and of course details but not here in the face there are not so many changes here and this is the thing we want so next we are going to apply a blend mode average here with this mode we change a little bit the way the the way the details are in ends. here is the normal mode and here is the average mode a little bit softer here take a look at the nose with average well it's, there are not so many differences but i think the image is better second step we apply the local contrast plugin it works in a similar way to equalizer plugin even we can achieve the same results only with with equalizer but i think that 
playing around with two plugins give us more control over the processing. So with local contrast, we are going to play with coarseness slider and detail. We are not going to move contrast slider, but the other two. So with the first one, coarseness, we put 20. And when, with the detail one, we are going to move up until 0 0.5 here. And what we have done, the fine details are enhanced smoothly, but you can see the difference here. After, before, after, before. And this is the final result. We can compare with the initial image with equalizer and local contrast. Well, as you can see, the results are achieved very fast without too much processing by our computers. And we can compare it with the results in GIMP and Darktable. Here at the right, we have the GIMP result. And here on the left, we have the Darktables one. You can see we have almost the same results in both images. So that tables is doing a quite good job. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. You, I will upload the style to the Dart tables uh, wiki and you will be able to download it and use it if you want. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I will try to improve my English for the next time. Thanks and see you again.